Milton Torres was a United States Air Force officer. In 1957, he was posted to Manston in Kent, which was then a USAF uh, base. One day, he received, together with his wingman, uh, an order to scramble their aircraft because a UFO was being tracked on military radar. He flew the F-86 Sabre, and he promptly took off. Uh, the fighter controllers said, this UFO um, is huge, and it's, 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 you know, it's unauthorized intrusion into the UK's air defense region. Uh, go and intercept it. Um, he then picked up the UFO on his airborne radar system, and he said it was extraordinary. He said even though um, he was receiving instructions to be vectored towards it from the ground, he said <coughs> it was quite unnecessary because he said it was absolutely clear as a bell on his radar. He said this thing was the size of an aircraft carrier on his radar screen, and it was virtually hovering he received an order that over 50 years ago he will never forget. Shoot down the UFO. And even though he'd heard perfectly, it was such an extraordinary order that he said, uh, say again, repeat last. Shoot down the UFO, came back the reply. So the F-86, the, the variant that he was um, flying was armed with 24 air-to-air -air missiles, uh, air rockets, and he vectored closer and closer to this thing and prepared to fire. And he said, as he got to the range, and by the way, he never saw this thing visually. This was just on, on the radar screen, but it was being tracked by him and ground control. Um, just before he got into a range where he would be able to launch the missiles, the UFO moved from a virtual hover to a moderate speed and then suddenly accelerated away, he said, at about Mach 10. He returned to base and there was a strange gentleman there that he'd never seen before, dressed in civilian clothing. And he said, your mission has been classified top secret. You are not to discuss it, even with your commanding officer. And those of you with military backgrounds or knowledge will know how counterintuitive that is to the way in which the military and the chain of command normally works. And there, Things would have rested, but not for the fact that at, uh, in the mid-80s, attending a military reunion, uh, he decided to write up an account of his story, which uh, was then sent to the Ministry of Defense. And it was only in October last year, over 50 years after the incident took place, that when the Ministry of Defense released his account, that he felt he was now able to speak about it in public. And he became very emotional about this because he said, you know, I've sat on this for 50 years, he said, and I couldn't even tell my father about it. Um, and he subsequently passed away. And he said, my dad would have loved this, but I could never tell him. And again, it's, it's worth, when, when you get back, for those of you that haven't seen it, it's worth watching the footage of people like Edgar Mitchell and Milton Torres at the National Press Club. Um, it, it's, it's on YouTube and all the usual places, but um, it's well worth listening to what Milton Torres himself has to say about that case.